Hey everybody, we got Eric Poston here from Oakley SA. How you doing? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you too. So he couldn't bring everything he wanted to in this little booth. I mean, they, we went to the showroom, they've got a huge apparel line that they've developed for SI, which is new for 2013. Correct, new for 2013. And, um, and then he brought a few products. I mean, these are some of the upgrades to the standards and some new new items. Correct. So show us the uh, the SI Ballistic M-Frame 3.0. Well, the Ballistic M-Frame 3.0 is similar to what we've seen in the advancement of the 2.0. Okay. So it meets all of the ANSI EN166 I mean, and the mill-proof uh, 3103 for the ballistic fragmentation. So the big changes that we see on the 3.0 from the 2.0, so we've got a reduced profile stem, so it works better when we're dealing with okay. bearing protection and helmet integration exactly. Uh, in this case, we've got a multi-cam finish on it. Right, so that's new as yeah, well. Yeah, that's the, new as the, well. I mean, we're seeing a lot of the SOCOM community working with multi-cam. Uh, as you know, Oakley is the sole provider for iWork for the SOCOM. Well, I was going to say that every time you see any image, movie, they're always wearing Oakley. Yeah, we're, we're very honored by our relationship with that community. You know, Oakley's 20-year history of working in this community comes from getting feedback from the end user and driving to solve those problems that they experience in the field. We've got a, a hard coat on the front of the lens that produces scratching, but an anti-fog that keeps us from fogging. And in this case, this is the SI Helo kit that fits on the that's new. This is brand new. Uh, it's out as we speak, but it works great. It's a single piece. It slides into the lens, and what it does is it creates a gasket. Now, this is, is this just for the 3.0, or if you had an earlier version, the M frame will that adopt to it? It will adopt to the 2.0, even the 1.0. Okay. So the great part about it is not only is it easy for us to slip on, so it creates a seal to help to keep that debris out. Whether even if we're seeing guys jumping in it, um, and if it's a if it's something where they need to take it off, it's as easy as you know one pop. hand pop it off in the pocket, back to doing what they're doing. Okay, so this is new. I saw this on the commercial side, and I believe it was called the wind jacket, and then now this is the SI ballistic. Racing, racing jacket. jacket. Correct. You know, we've got a family of products that are developed, developed for like high performance use in a twin lens environment. Right. So what we see is an SI racing jacket. We've got to meet the same ballistic requirements that we do on the ballistic M frame, uh, the mill standard 31013s for all ballistic fragments. Exactly. It passes the ANSI and the EN pieces, but it also incorporates a dual lens technology, Oakley's patented switch lock lens technology with a quick easy, secure lenses. Right, if you want to swap it Swap out. lenses, you want to use prescription lenses, you want to use uh, low light lenses, same applications. It's a really secure, fast uh, lens interchange uh, adaptation from the OP Civilian. The new goggle. The goggle, yeah. The assault goggle 2.0 takes in a lot of that same information. When guys absolutely have to wear on a goggle, the mission profile dictates it. What you'll see on the assault goggle 2.0 is a low profile. We have a minimized standoff, so when we're working under helmets and nods, the nods are as close to the face as possible. We have a minimal sound. Right, it's very thin. Face. It's super thin. We've got uh, articulating yeah. straps, helmet mounts for a lot of the new rail systems. We're seeing a lot the of helmets. Them. Exactly. Yeah. Operational companies use those helmet mounts. Interfaces with all of the different helmet systems, and again, it passes the ANSI, the EN166, and the goggle specification 43511 for the also, Oakley has been a U.S. manufacturer for a long time. Correct. So yeah. everything here is made in the United States. Every, California. Everything correct? is made here in the United States. It's built. And you all should be proud of that. Well, and, it, and, and it, we are, and I mean, we're humbled by the community that we're able to work with, and what makes such a difference in our overall performance is everything is done by us. The research and development, the design, the manufacturing, it's all built now. So let's talk about the boot. LF boot. LF boot is a, uh, meets the uniform spec for an 8 inch uh, U.S. Army regulation bovine brush out uh, uh, boot, diagonal tread. For fiber. For fiber, exactly. Yeah, they make really diesel. well known for their uh, their durability and their traction. Uh, I mean, they're diesel. Exactly. When we look at the inside of the development, so we've got extra protection for like a fast roping application so we don't have any abrasion or no um, hold up. Or no hold up, exactly. We utilize 100% bovine leather made here in the United States. Is it Cordura? It's a, it's a Cordura nylon, absolutely. Okay. We're all uh, very compliant, and then obviously we can utilize all our soldiers can, can purchase us through. And y'all been doing that for a long time. Absolutely. It, yeah, it started from a, from a humble beginning of a simple assault boot, a lightweight assault boot to replace the Adidas GST9 through direct development with the SOCOM community. And now we've got not only lightweight direct action product, but also more in-garrison duty wear, uh, as well as uh, products like the LF that work well in a mountain. Well, Eric, I appreciate you coming to see us. My pleasure and honor. Really appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of the shot show. Always. Thank you.